Welcome to Vanguard Motor Sales. We specialize in buying and selling high quality muscle cars and classics. We get in new cars every day, so our inventory is constantly changing. If you'd like to go check out our website right now, we've got over 150 cars in stock. Hit this button up top. If you'd like to watch an About Us video, hit this button down at the bottom. Now let's go outside and check out what we've got for you today. All right, we're outside now with this 56 Beetle. This baby's sweet. And if you want to see about 100 pictures of her, go to our website at VanguardMotorsales.com. We're going to get this baby in the air so you can check out the underside. We're going to show you the interior, the motor. We'll show you everything you need to see so you can make a really good decision. Now come on up, let's listen to this baby hum. So she is in awesome shape for 1956. The chrome looks good, the stainless looks good, all the aluminum looks good. Look at that emblem, that baby's awesome. Uh, she retains all of her uh, original metal, all the rubber looks good. The floorboards, wait till you see how beautiful the underside is. Look at those doors, absolutely gorgeous. I love the wheels and tires on it. It's got a really awesome stance. Back bumper looks awesome. Of course, we got the, uh, the cool little header and muffler combo on it. Look at how clean that motor compartment is. This baby is ready to rock and roll. Doors line up real nice with the body. The body lines look good. The paint looks awesome. Look how clean those doors are. And at Vanguard Motor Sales, we're not consignment dealers. We spend the time to check our cars out before we buy them. Then when we get them here to a shop, we go through them completely. We run them through the checklist so we can answer all your questions when you call at 248-974-9513. Also, we carry an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. We've got 100% positive feedback over 10 years with eBay. Let's check out the interior in this Beetle. Look at the door panel. Look how nice and clean it is. Take a look at the carpeting, the upholstery on the seats, the seat frames, the steering wheel itself, the dash, the back seat, the headliner. Everything about this car screams, I'm beautiful. Now that you've had a quick look at the car, we'd like to give you a chance to go right to our website. You can click the button right up to your left here to do that. If you'd like to subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the subscribe button and you can check out a bunch of hot rod videos. Now let's get back and check this car out. All right, let's take this Beetle for a ride. This little baby runs like a top. <laughs> it handles awesome, I love it. Oh, we're gonna get the Dodge uh, guy unloading some block here and at Vanguard Motor Sales we can ship this little beetle anywhere in the world you just call us at 248-974-9513 Tom answers his phone practically 24 hours a day and he does answer it seven days a week so you just give him a call now the throttle response on this baby is awesome Gearbox feels great, clutch feels good, brakes feel good, she's driving nice and straight. Look, mom, no hands on the wheel. The Mustang backing out in front of us here. That's my buddy, the Mustang Racing Technologies there. Downshifting nice. Look at the way this needle handles. Whip right around this corner. I never knew how much fun these Beetles were. I've actually never driven one till today. This thing's a blast to drive. A little neighbor girl uh, got a Beetle, 
for her first car. Her name's Riley. I bet she doesn't have as much fun as I'm having in this 56. This thing's a blast. I love the exhaust too, it just sounds awesome. Now the radio's working here, I turn it on for you, but it doesn't like the camera for some reason. The windshield wipers are working on this baby. Um, turn signals are working, and one of the things that we'll do here at Vanguard is we'll go through all the electrical, make sure you got dash lights, and make sure all the brake lights and everything are working. We'd love to have you come visit us we're right outside the Motor City. Our shop's right here at 15100 Keel Street in Plymouth, Michigan. Got a real nice GTO and a real nice Nova sitting right out front today. So come on down and see us. Check this Beetle out. Well, stick around with us. We're going to put this baby up in the lift so you can check out the underside and under that hood. All right, Jerry's my VW man here. He's going to tell you all about this bug. Okay, so we got a 56 oval, real nice car, we're under it here. Uh, we know it's a 1776 dual port engine. We don't know the actual origins of the engine, but we do know it's not original to this car. Um, it's got a nice bug pack exhaust on it, nice header tucked up where it should be. Um, the uh, push rod tubes look like they're fairly dry. Uh, if you know Volkswagens, you know that's a real, real leaky spot on these things. That's real common. These look pretty dry. Um, the engine runs pretty good. It's got a full flow exhaust system, on, or I'm sorry, oil system on it, typical to the 70-76s. Urethane engine and trans mounts. Yeah. The floorboards on this car, also if you're a Volkswagen guy, you know they all rust under the battery. This one is not rusted and it doesn't look like it's been patched. It looks like it's probably the original metal for the car, which is unusual for the battery. Um, and the rest of the floorboards look good and solid. Um, standard drum brakes all the way around, which we all know work really well on these cars. They don't need any more than that. Um, we will take all the wheels off. We'll pull the drums off. We'll look at the brakes, make sure the shoes are good, the, the wheel cylinders aren't leaking. Um, all the rubber lines look good under the car and look like they've been replaced not too long ago. Um, this car's got the, the added uh, anti-sway bar on the front with urethane bushings. Looks like just a stock beam up front, not narrowed. Uh, it's, it's still a kingpin car, so the suspension, other than adding the, the urethane bushings and the anti-roll bar, looks to be all just stock original pieces. Uh, looking at the wheels on the car now, it's got a real nice set of the lightweight um, VW wheels, chrome plated. It's got the nice old style nipple hubcaps on it. These tires are going to be replaced. These are kind of dry rotted. We're going to replace them with the same size tires so the car will have a little bit smaller tire up than it does out back, the typical kind of cow look. And these are the 145 15s. Uh, go around to the back wheels. Okay, to the back wheels here. The back wheels are slightly wider than the front, but it's still the same nice lightweight uh, VW wheel. There's a little bit of pitting on the chrome here. Um, it probably would clean up pretty nice with just some steel wool. The rear tires are 205 6015 uh, BFG. And like I said, we're going to replace the front ones. They won't be a BFG, um, but the, the car will keep the correct stance. Okay, we're back here under the hood of the Beetle. Uh, like I said, it's got a nice 1776 in it. We don't know the in it particulars of the engine on the inside, but we do know that that's the, cu the cubic centimeter of it. Uh, it's been converted to 12 volt, but retains the generator. Got the nice billet uh, timing gear on it. Got a dual pour engine with a, a pair of Delorto, Delorto 34Bs on it. Um, it's a good running engine. We don't have a dyno sheet or anything, but just driving the car, it'd be safe to say it's probably a good 90-ish horsepower engine. Runs real good, idles good, has good response. Uh, we know with the, with the Delortos, you don't get the typical throttle lag that you do with a, a larger Weber. Um, all the cooling shrouds are here, the, the, the tin works all here, everything looks like it's all correct on it. Um, there won't be any cooling issues with the engine. Uh, it starts right up, actually runs really well. Alright, we've made it really easy for you. Click on any one of these five pictures here and it will take you right to whatever you're interested in. We're going to give you about 30 seconds here to click these pictures. If you need more time, just go back in the video and click that picture.